Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Matt. I do regular rock and metal reactions on here. I'm also one of the guitarists and songwriters in the power metal band Master Sword. If you're curious about my music, you can check out the link above. Um, it links you to our Bandcamp page with our latest album on it. Um, today I have another Rada Blanca reaction for you. I did one yesterday with the song Mistreated where uh, they joined up with Glenn Hughes and honestly performed it flawlessly. It was amazing. Um, so I saw that they also did the song Burn, which is hands down one of my favorite songs of all time. Not just from Deep Purple, but from any band. It's super energetic, it's super catchy, and it has some of uh, Richie Blackmore, John Lord, and Ian Pace's like best moments. Um, so guitar, keyboards, and drums. Uh, I'm, I'm hyped to hear what Rada Blanca does with this version because based on this street, it, like, it's just gonna be incredible. So before we get into that, I just wanna let you guys know that I am on Patreon and that I am gonna do my last um, Rada Blanca reaction from this show uh, and put that on there. And it's gonna be the song Stormbringer. So if you'd like to get access to that video, it's only $1 to join the Patreon and you get access to a bunch of other exclusive videos uh, as well as um, I did Mujer Amante, another Rada Blanca song and that's exclusive to Patreon. So I hope you'll Check it out and um, support me if you can, because I really appreciate it. Let's jump into the song. It's Rada Blanca featuring Glenn Hughes with Burn. Oh yeah, that riff. One of the best guitar riffs ever. Looks like Glenn is going to take uh, David Coverdale's parts on this. So I wonder if the Rada Blanca singer is going to do Glenn Hughes's parts from the original. Interesting that he switched it. Sounds so much like Deep Purple. Drummer is doing an admiral job. I'll, I'll give him that. This is a hard song to play on drums. Basically, just one giant drum fill. Love those harmonies. He's doing both parts. Hey, I'm cool with it. Oh, he's nailing it. Those arpeggios.
really excited to see what the keyboardist does with the next solo section. I haven't heard much of his playing yet in the uh, other videos I reacted to. Yes! Love his screams. Killing it too. Needs more distortion on the organ though. That true John Lord sound. I love that ending. <laughs> He's so friendly with them. I wonder if they're friends. I mean, they probably are after this, but I mean before this. All right, that was Rada Blanca featuring Glenn Hughes with the song Burn from Deep Purple's album Burn. Um, absolutely killer. Knocked it right out of the park. I totally expected that. Like, it's... After seeing Mistreated, I knew that they can pretty much do any Deep Purple song justice and make it sound like Deep Purple uh, is the one playing it. Um, and not just studio Deep Purple. And I think that's almost the greatest feat of this. It, they sound like live Deep Purple. Which is fantastic. Like, um, yeah, I was just really impressed. I don't really know what to say about it because I've heard this song like thousands of times in my life because it's one of my favorite songs from one of my favorite bands. But just the fact that they did such a great job, you know, it really warms my heart seeing um, other bands respect Deep Purple so much. Not that that's unusual because Deep Purple, they're not as well known as like maybe Led Zeppelin or Black Sabbath, at least here in America. Um, but Honestly, for the, the genre of metal, I think they're just as important and maybe even more important. And that might be a hot take uh, because obviously there's lots of Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath fans out there. But Deep Purple did so much for metal, especially like they brought the speed and they brought the neoclassical elements to the table. Um, so as far as like um, kind of giving inspiration to metal, like power metal especially, 
owes so much to Deep Purple and Rainbow, which is the band that Richie Blackmore formed after Deep Purple. But this isn't a Deep Purple reaction video. This is a Rada Blanca video. And I just want to say like they, they did an awesome job. And that's coming from a huge Deep Purple fan, so it means a lot. Um, I'm really excited to hear some more original stuff from um, Rada Blanca. I reacted to, and I always forget the name of this song, but it's La Lienda de Aljada y El Mago. Um, and that was excellent. And I want to hear more stuff like that, kind of like the fast, energetic music. Because um, I've done a few others by them that were more kind of slow and more of a more of a poppy uh, type sound, um, including uh, Muhir Amante. And... Um, I forget what the other one was, but it was like the top one on Spotify. Um, I want I want more energetic songs. So if you have any um, suggestions for me, please shoot them off in the comments. I do try to read them all and reply to as many as I can. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, remember to check out my Patreon because I have the Stormbringer reaction up on there now. Um, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Let me show you your Darkest